Welcome to Israel in the Holy Land. This is a five-part series where we journey through some of the most incredible and sacred sites that this land has to offer. On this episode, we visit Bet Cheyenne in the north, the famous Roman ruin, followed by Bethlehem in the West Bank. Visiting Bet Cheyenne is like literally walking through time. In fact, it was first settled some 5,000 to 6,000 years ago by the Chalcolithic period. And it has had many conquerors throughout the years, including the Romans, early Muslims, and Crusaders. At its peak during the Roman period, there were 30 to 40,000 inhabitants living in this area. So this is a Roman bathhouse, and they use this as a public bath and sauna area. When the Roman Empire became the Holy Roman Empire, nudity was no longer allowed, so they used this as baptismal pools. The entire site is well preserved, including mosaic floors that are original from the Roman period. And can you guess what this is? This is a public latrine. The visitors here are doing a special photo shoot on the Roman throne. After the Romans took their baths, it was time for them to head to the amphitheater where they had different lectures. The amphitheater is one of the most well-preserved. In fact, all the seats are original. After our Roman adventure, it was time to cross over to the West Bank to go to Bethlehem. And uh, Israelis we used to come massively here to the casino. We don't have casinos in Israel. Crossing over to Palestine, we noticed a significant change in culture as there are both Arab Christians and Arab Muslims in this city. I'm walking around Palestine right now in Bethlehem, heading to the church where Christ was born. Stars and bugs. Mike, where are we? After grabbing some falafel and local Thai Bay beer, one of the only breweries in the area, we headed to the Church of the Nativity, which is known for being the spot where Christ was born. The interior of the church was undergoing much renovation, so it was hard to take photos. So we headed downstairs to the location where it's believed the manger was set up and the site of Jesus' birth is noted by a 14-point star on the ground. This church is a very important site for pilgrims and it's also protected by UNESCO. It was amazing to see such a significant site to religious history as well as such an interesting culture, only a stone's throw away from Jerusalem. We hope that this video helped you in planning your trip to the Holy Land. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel videos.